This is a two-ton arbor press that I've anchored to my bench and I've rigged it up to where I can ratchet it down and press it. Can get up to about 2,500 PSI on this gauge right here. And I'll show you how I made it. So here it is on the lathe. It doesn't quite fit over this right here, but that's the plan. So I will take this guy right here and I'll just sit here and grind it down until it fits over, sleeves over and then we'll weld it. Kind of hard to see, but it says 32, whatever that is. But the diameter almost fit around here, not quite. I had to grind it down as, as shown in the video. And then I had a buddy solder all the way around. So I'll show you where I got with this so far. So it's welded on there. And it just easily goes on there. And then this extends out so I have maximum force. Got this from Harbor Freight. And then this is a pressure gauge that I got from woodysrocks.com. Goes up to 10,000. This is a two ton Arbor press. Let's see if I can do this while holding it. So I should be able to press it with maximum force. Got these steel rods that go up and then it goes through the table underneath. Got it on all four sides. Um, the first time I did this, it was pulling right through here and ripping off the table, but I've since changed it up, put some bolts here and some nuts here, and so hopefully it won't pull itself free, but I put all my weight on this and it doesn't go anywhere, so it should be really good for pressing rockets and other stuff. So this is something else I just tried out. It seems to work really well, but this is a torque wrench that is set to break So it releases at a certain uh, torque. If you look at it, I set it up to, to break at about 1800. Let's see if I can get this to. Seems to be very exact. So the cool thing about this is I set it up to where I was getting it to break at that 1800. So now I can just simply take this, set it aside and I'll pull it the same way. And every every time I pull it, it's gonna take it to that 1800. So with that, I don't have to be as exact because I know that this is gonna break at 1800. And I can bust through the rockets a lot quicker without having to look at this every two seconds. And with this, I can down the torque required to make it break. So let's see. I'm gonna take it down quite a bit. And now as I pull down, that breaks at about 1,000 PSI. It seems to be very exact though. And I can torque it way up. So that's probably gonna be like 2,000. Nope, that's 1,800. So that's about 2,000. So with that, I can lock it and be very precise. And like I said, I can take this and set it aside. And I'll know that this is gonna break at 1,000 PSI or 2,000 PSI or whatever I had it set at. 
and that can bust through a bunch of rockets.